Okay, today we're going to take a look now at dissection number three. We're going to start this process off. Um, first step I want you to notice, if you notice which direction I got my hand on this cat. So we're going to start out, we already have the rhomboidus muscle set up, rhomboidus major, minor, and capitis. You notice my finger goes from this direction all the way under and comes out on this side here. We're eventually going to be cutting these rhomboids, not the capitis. Don't cut the rhomboidus capitis, but the minor and the major. We're going to cut them right in the middle. Please don't cut them right along the scapula. Don't cut them right along the midline, but right in the middle of these muscles. Chop them up, and then we're going to see what we can find here. So let's watch this happen. Okay, I'm going to use my probe. Super important. Again, I'm coming from the back side to the front. Do not go the other direction, otherwise you will destroy a muscle. Super common mistake that people do. So I'm coming from the back side. Cut the rhomboidus major. Now I'm cutting the rhomboidus minor. Okay. With that done, again, the capitis is still intact. I can flip those all up. All right, so let's take a look here and see our, let's get like a, I guess our bearings here. Once this guy gets kind of set in a nice spot for us. Okay, so as I look here, the muscle that we should be seeing, this one that's running this direction, kind of highlight it all in red here, this entire muscle here is what we call the serratus ventralis. Serratus ventralis. Not to be confused with another muscle that's running on the wall of the cat. It's called the serratus dorsalis. So two different muscles, serratus dorsalis and serratus ventralis. And again, you can also see the subscapularis down over there under the, underneath the scapula. So this dissection kind of has a little bit more, is a bit more technical. There you see that subscapularis really clearly over there. I'm kind of playing with it with my finger. So you can see the subscapularis. Okay, subscapularis down there. I'm pulling back the rhomboidus capitis and the serratus ventralis. Okay, so in order to do this dissection well, we need to cut through the attachment point of the serratus dorsalis and peel it down in order to see this uh, longissimus dorsi, um, spinalis dorsi, and the iliocostalis. So you're going to see what I do with the probe. I'm actually going to poke the probe through the connective tissue. So you can see how we're doing this. Um, now in other dissections, you might have cut this stuff, but or just, you know, like tear through it, you know, with force. Do not do this. In fact, you're going to make a nice clean line. You're going to use scissors and cut this. That way, this whole thing can be peeled down. Okay? This whole thing's going to get peeled down here in a second. Okay? So let's watch this happen. I'm going to get my scissors over here. Okay, get my probe. I'm going to use scissors and carefully cut through. This is the attachment point of the serratus dorsalis. Okay, I'm out, now I'm going to take my probe and go the other direction too with it. I'm peeling this thing down. Okay. Now I'm going to go the other direction now and cut up this way. Got to be kind of delicate here. If you're not delicate, you're actually going to tear the serratus dorsalis. So we're just going to cut it carefully. And now we're going to peel it down. Okay, you kind of see what, what I'm doing. I'm just pulling the whole thing down. Kind of breaking things as I go. Freeing it up. Okay, and right here, let's pause for a moment just so we can see the muscles. Again, you see there's this line that I've got holding it with my hand. I'm peeling it down. So this muscle that I'm peeling down is the serratus dorsalis. This one over here is the serratus ventralis. And then what I see underneath this thing is the subscapularis. What I'm actually starting to expose right here is it looks a lot like bacon. It's called the iliocostalis, and that's how you know you see it. It literally does just look like bacon. So I'm going to kind of speed this up along here so we can just kind of see this a little quicker here. Get you guys onto other homework assignments. So I'm peeling it down, and there's the bacon. Okay, if you don't see this, let's put it in green just so we can see. I'm going to just kind of highlight it. Right there, you can start seeing this kind of view. That is the iliocostalis. Again, the ciliaris dorsalis has been pulled down. Okay. 
Let's kind of speed things up. So now what I'm going to be doing now is removing some of this connective tissue, some of this fascia. We'll go four times speed, just kind of quickly go through here. I'm removing some of the stuff that's covering. I'm going to work at the line that's in between the iliocostalis and the longissimus dorsi. Up there where my left thumb is is the splenius. I'm just kind of trying to define the splenius a little bit better. Okay, you can kind of see I'm getting in between the what we call the spinalis dorsi and the longissimus dorsi. And we're just kind of working. A lot of this is outlining. You're not going to get your probe completely underneath any of these muscles. You're not going to make them like you did on the latissimus dorsi. You're just really outlining the edges of them so you can really see it well. Okay, so let's just make sure we can see how I've done this. All right, there is a muscle here. There is a muscle here. And of course, there's this muscle, the one that I peeled down, and there's another muscle that's underneath. So iliocostalis is this one down here, serratus dorsalis, longissimus dorsi, it's very long, and spinalis dorsi. Okay, those are three. And then the splenius is up here on the left side that my hand's covering. So we're going through, again, just kind of clearing stuff out, making it super easy to view. I'm just kind of pointing them all out. I can see all those muscles. Now, the fun part at the very end of this dissection, you got to make a little window. Okay, now down here at this area, you're actually going to use your scissors and you're going to actually cut through and make a window that's kind of this shape that'll then be able to lift up and as a flap. And we're actually going to see the longissimus dorsi. This muscle down here actually runs all the way to the back of the cat. That's why it's called the longissimus dorsi. And you're going to see another muscle right along the spine called the multifidus spinae. Okay, so you can kind of see I'm using my probe and my scissors. I'm going to make a nice little window here. It's kind of through this hollow. Um, this is all actually like dense regular connective tissue, kind of a nice little tendon here, a source of attachment for the latissimus dorsi. So then I'm going to make my flap. All right, I'm pulling them up. Okay, so number one mistake that people like to make here is they see a line right there. Most people see this line right here. Okay, that little line is not two different muscles. This is actually all, this whole thing right here is all longissimus dorsi. This is the same muscle that is way over here. Longissimus dorsi, it goes all the way over there. Okay. The multifidus spinae is actually up here. Some people make a mistake and call this multifidus spinae and this longissimus dorsi. That's not the case. You're going to see here when you take the probe, I'm actually going to go ahead and pull them both back down. So that's all longissimus dorsi under my probe. I'm pulling it down. And then when I pull that down and I look up right along the vertebrae, that is the multifidus spinae right there where I'm pointing at right there. Okay, let's make sure we see that. So this is the multifidus spinae up here, and this is all this entire thing is all longissimus dorsi. So there's kind of two muscles up here, okay? Multifidus spinae, longissimus dorsi. All right, with that, pretty much sums up the entire dissection when we have it all done. Okay, so hopefully we'll be ready for this in class. Um, again, we want to review the main issues that we have. We got to make dang sure that when we cut the rhomboids, we're coming from this angle. Otherwise, you'll accidentally cut your serratus, dor, uh, dorsalis, serratus ventralis. I'm sorry. Serratus ventralis is here on this side. Serratus dorsalis is on this side. The way I remember, serratus dorsalis is attached to the dorsal fin if this cat had a dorsal fin. Right? It would be here, dorsal. Okay. Serratus dorsalis comes up to the dorsal side. Serratus ventralis goes to the ventral side, which would be on the underside of the cat. Okay. So hopefully that helps, and we'll see you guys in class for the dissection.